everybody, it's Rodney Rock. Today, we eat at what's been recently published as one of America's best new restaurants. Welcome to Food Porn Friday. So Crystal and I recently shared our seven year anniversary together at San Francisco's very own Liho Liho Yacht Club. They've been published in everything from Esquire to GQ magazine and I'm so happy they're right in our backyard. Liho Liho Yacht Club or LYC started off as one of SF's most popular pop-up restaurants. And in the winter of last year they finally opened up their brick and mortar in the lower Knob Hill area of downtown. It's been a big hit with its California ingredients and its blend of Hawaiian and Chinese cuisine. So we started off the night with the tuna poke on top of a fried nori cracker. The sauce, the seasoning, the balance between all the elements of the dish, the radish, the greens, and the sesame, all really came together to wake the palate and make for a very nice appetizer. The fish is definitely the star of the dish and it's amazing. That kind of balance carried itself over to the next appetizer we had. The duck liver toast with pineapple, seasoned with a little bit of togarashi and topped with greens. You get the earthy deliciousness of the duck liver paired with the sweetness of the pineapple with just the tiniest kick of heat from the togarashi. The bread was warm and toasty and all the ingredients just sang together so beautiful. Beautifully. I want in my mouth over and over again. We finished the app with something so addicting it should be illegal. Liho Liho steak on the famous Hawaiian hurricane popcorn. Sweet, salty, spicy, all toasty, warm, and buttery. I know some of you are thinking, what, popcorn? But trust me, it's the best popcorn you've ever had. Chef Kapoor, if you're watching this, please let me know where do you get your popcorn curls from? Because they were just out of this world! He'll never tell me. I would guard that secret with my life. On to the entrees. Now what I love, love, love is when restaurants don't skimp on the portions. At LYC, they give you your money's worth and more. Like most restaurants worth their salt, a lot of the apps and entrees are constantly evolving and changing, so you might not have the same thing every night. Oftentimes, there are a few signature dishes that they always keep on the menu. And that's what we wanted. We wanted what Liho Liho was known for. So first up, the fried Cornish game hen with cashews, tamari glaze, kale, and broccoli. The fry on the game hen is top notch. The crispy, crunchy outside holds up even with the tamari glaze. Yet biting into the white meat, you're assailed with all the delicious chickeny juiciness that you could ask for. They absolutely bombard the chicken with lots and lots of veggies. Even the kale was crispy fried to add its own texture. You'll want to stuff your face with this, just somehow. All of it, stuff your face. Our second entree was the twice cooked pork belly, topped with pineapple, Thai basil, and shaved fennel. The treatment of the pork in this dish is heavenly. They hook you up with this hefty cut of pork belly, and at that point of the meal, they're just showing off, because they've managed to deliver this huge cut that's crispy, crunchy on the outside, and then melt in your mouth succulent, buttery, rich on the inside, I can almost cry. But then they don't forget to balance out all that richness with a ton of veg, with the pineapple, and just a little bit of kick with the sauce. That to me is one of the biggest takeaways of the entree. Chef Kapoor and his team have a mastery of sweetness in their savory dishes. I for one don't like a lot of sugar in my entrees, but at LYC they know how to balance it out with just a little bit of sour, a little bit of spice, and a whole lot of veggies. All the flavors work in harmony, and it's a symphony of a meal. We finished our night with their signature and beautiful take on the American classic, Baked Alaska. LYC has their Baked Hawaii, a torched vanilla chiffon and caramelized pineapple ice cream. The pineapple ice cream was made to be more tart, with the outer layers of the Baked Hawaii providing the sweetness, rounding out this gorgeous dessert. Thank you so much to the Liho Liho team for letting me invade their space with my camera. If you'd like to visit them, I'll leave a link in the description for all their information. If you like this video, a thumbs up is greatly appreciated. You can click on any of these adaptations to my left, your right, or tap on any of the description links down below to check out more videos that I've done. I make videos every week, so subscribe down below to stay up to date. Share this video with a friend, tag people that you care about, and until next time, Aloha!